Hey guys, it's the Frugal Nista. Okay, I am bound and determined to try to show y'all everything that I've been getting for free. So what I did was I just kind of categorized it with the Christmas. So we can try to move on from Christmas, but I'm still finding stuff. Right now, guys, I got to get a hold of my house. It looks like, seriously, um, the seasonal section from Christmas in Macy's or Saks Fifth Avenue up in here. So let me show y'all what I have because I am bound and determined to get my house in order. So before I put this stuff away, let me show you what I picked up for free. All, right, all the way to my right. Here we go. Uh, the first thing that I threw in, even though it's not Christmas, it is a porcelain white bowl that came from Marshall's. Now, everything basically came from Marshall's Home Good, and if it didn't, I will let you know, okay? Up next are these elves at work, a little cupcake with an elf sticking out of it, and another little cupcake that says ho, 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 that came from a store called Kirkland's in our hey area. Hey, guys, next is my di big ticket item. Try to guess how much these little trees cost, guys. They are Christmas tree handmade in Italy, real Christmas tree wood, and... It, it has the both Italian and the English writing on it. It is by Wood Ideal, and that's how it looks. Uh, Albert or Albero. Okay. Guys, these are a whopping compared to price of $200. Okay. I can't see the price that Marshall was selling them for, but nine times out of ten, they probably were selling them original for 100 they went on clearance the first time from 100 to 50, from 50 to 39, and then they zeroed them out. And I have six of those guys. So, you know, over $1,000 worth of merchandise just thrown away. Okay? Okay, next to this are some tinsel trees. As you can see, they have the star base, and it is a, a gold, a silver gold type of uh, pine tree with little balls. Okay, another little Christmas tree, a little desktop Christmas tree in a silver slash blue color with like a little white, white frost. It's made out of glass. Down here is a night light with a little Christmas scene on it in a black box. It does work. Over here is some potpourri. It smells really good. Down next to it is a brown basket. All of this, guys, came from Marshalls. And check this out, guys. This is by Bahama, a Bahomo. It is a Christmas scented candle. And the scents are tangerine, spice, peach, orange, zest of amber. It is a diffuser, a candle. And the room spray. Very nice. Okay, here are three little Santa Claus. Those are cute, especially for somebody who likes music. He has a little music hat on. There are two that are perfect, and one is missing his little tinsel on his hat that can be easily replaced. All right, three little gold candles, two little white pillar candles with little red balls on them. And guys, this candle smells so good. It is a candy cane candle. I'm not real particular about mint, but guys, it's mixed with um, peppermint, vanilla, and lily of the valley. It smells so pretty. Ah, if, if pretty could be smelled, that's how it smells to me. A little green Christmas light ornament. This is a candle holder that it's in. Some little ribbon in a Tiffany blue. More potpourri. This was so cute to me, guys. A little tea light holder with the word joy on it. A little angel. Very cute. From Marshalls. Another little nativity. You know I will be keeping this. I collect nativities, especially ones that look like that. Love it. Okay, here are some burlap garland. I have two of those. Reindeers okay, on guys, here's... This is a silver one. And I have four cranberries. A lot of scented candles, guys. Those two are scented. Okay. And 
this one smells really nice also. It's, an, it's a scented one also. These are scented soaps, guys, which smell really nice. Smells nice. Here are more candles. These are kind of like tea lights. I don't think they're scented. Okay. Here's some Christmas ornaments. I think I showed you these already. These are that burlap. I have two of those, burlap garland. Here's some tins with little candies in it that have never been opened. They're still sealed in the plastic. One's a snowman, one's a Santa, and this little tin. Here's a little breakfast selection, Scottish breakfast selection. Breakfast tea, mini oat cakes, and something else in there, and a few jellies. That's a little doggy collar. A little box that says Noel on it. Here are three boxes of bows and ribbon. Two with gold, silver, and one with white and red. Guys, these are table runners. I have two of those. Okay, here's a little lighted LED light wreath that works. I just put a battery in it. I don't know if you can see it because it's kind of bright in here. These are decorative hanging stars. I guess I have about eight of those in black. And then you have just different decorations. Some have snowflakes and reindeer. Okay, some more red and white little ribbon for decoration. Uh, here is a table runner with um, holly berries all over it. There are two little hand towels in red. There are three packages of Christmas cards. And back there is a little Santa, guys. So cute. He didn't have a tag on him, but I will be selling him. Uh, that is a... Up here, guys, is a Christmas tree skirt in red, black, and a cream color. And there are two Christmas stockings with little snowmen on it. But isn't that Santa cute? Look at his little glasses. Okay. In the back there is a Christmas tree that's in a piece of burlap. Very nice. Nothing wrong with it. I don't know if there was a price on it or not. And on top of here guys are all my little doggy things for Christmas. Here's a little dog costume. Little Santa costume. Those three little doggy mugs. I don't get the mug, but they're cute. One says Santa Little Helper. And the other one says Santa Spoiled Dog with a little dog bone in it. Here's a little doggy collar. A package of napkins, Christmas. Some more little dog items. And all of these are like doggy collars, and these little elves fit on top of the dog's back. Which I would find very annoying if I were a dog, but hey, somebody might buy them. Okay, here's a small little reindeer. Here are four packages of the crackers. Uh, three in gold and one in white. Okay, guys, and last but not least is this package. Uh, I'm not sure what's in it. It's wrapped beautifully. But it does have an expiration date on the bottom, so I'm assuming it must be some kind of food product. Um, it went on clearance for $26, so. Licorice and saffron. Something or another. Yeah. That looks like it's food related. I'll open to see what it is. And that's it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I wish you were here to help me clean up now. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Okay, guys. I also picked up some Christmas bags um, that I'll be using at my flea markets. It's about 50, maybe 60 One bags. I forgot to Brand show new. you guys. that kind of got mixed up with the Christmas things. Is this red colander? Uh, yeah, it probably was part of a set. Um, but, yeah, very nice that I will possibly sell. All right, guys. Thanks okay, so guys, much for Another watching. one that kind of got lost in the shuffle, this little Santa that I will be keeping uh, he is missing his leg, and he's holding little Christmas lights. He's still cute, and I can fix him up. I can't stand apart with him. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.